Hey guys, it's Kira Newton, Master RKC, San Fe, New Mexico, DKB Fitness. Um, we've talked about hollow body position. Let's just review it first because we're going to add a hollow body, leg raise, kettlebell press. So this is a pretty awesome movement if you're working on controlling your abdominal strength in uh, movements like a leg raise, um, or if you're doing a lot of body weight exercises, may for, maybe from PCC or maybe some heavy duty yoga training. So, first let's just establish, I'll move away from these kettlebells. Let's just establish that when you're in a hollow body position on the floor, that your low back is in the ground. And we, I'm not going to go through this too much because there's so much information on it, but basically, we're not going to be here, we're going to be low. Low body is hollowed out like the bottom of a saucer. So, you're not here. You're, there's absolutely no arch in the back. Pressing the ribs down, okay, and then here. So here would be your hollow body position. Shoulders a little bit off of the ground. Now, let's make that a little bit more difficult. Uh, before I go into this, this is going to require some hamstring flexibility. Um, if you're working on that, I'll give you some variations, um, but you do need to work on that flexibility as well. So I'm going to give you the original variation, which is raising the legs. So I'm just going to roll and get the kettlebells um, safely, and I'm going to assume you know how to do that. If not, look it up. So I'm going to press the kettlebells up, and from here I'm going to hold them up and get into my hollow body position. For some people, that's enough, okay? I'm going to talk for a second though. So I'm going to take my ribs here, press them down. Low back goes into the ground, arms are completely straight, taking the lats down, okay? So from here, I'm very, very, very slowly, by the way, shoulders are not lifted up on this one, I'm going to raise my legs vertebrae by vertebrae, and here I'm going to start to lift and pull through the kettlebells and slowly pull back down. As I pull through the kettlebells, I'm actually pressing the kettlebells away, meaning pressing down toward my feet. I'm gonna go back to hollow and do it again, okay? Bring them down carefully. So ideally, you wanna get through at least five of these, which you are not looking for, I'm going to do this without a weight, and you'll know this with yourself. What I'm not looking for is using momentum. Yes, it will work your abdominals, not what we're going through. We're, we're going to try to be here, press this way, although don't let them move. Use the press from here to lift the legs up and through the arms, okay? Now, not everybody is as flexible in their hamstrings as I am, or that flexible at all. So what you can do is, is play with the variations. In convict conditioning, there's a drill getting you into squatting in hollow body positions by 90 degree angle, pulling up and through and back down very slowly with control. So all you have to do with that is add the kettlebells. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to get my kettlebells into my hands. Bend the knees 90 degrees, so I'm not going to lengthen it out and I'm not going to take it too close. Remain 90, and I like to flex the feet. So here, rolling to my side, other side, taking it up, pressing them up. 90 degree angle, flexing the feet, hugging down, corset the ribs down, press into the kettlebells, Lift up with the upper ribs, upper abdominals, and then very slowly, very, very slowly. Bring it down. Don't let your low butt come down, meaning right there, right? So don't let that drop until you're actually coming out of the movement. So what I mean by that is you're here. This part doesn't drop when you go to your next rep, so don't bring it all the way down like this because that will allow you to use momentum. Hope you enjoy this.